Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe and Commander of Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Comrade Robert Gabriel Mugabe. Honorable Vice President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Comrade Joyce Majuru. Esteemed dignitaries present at the venue and gentlemen, members of the diplomatic court. As always, at the ceremonies for World Best Tourist Destination Award, we are regarding it as the embodiment of an idea and the universal proclamation of a country that succeeded in materializing this idea to the fullest. Last year, we have concentrated on the idea that the world of today, tourism, is a causeway uniting knowledge and friendship peoples and countries, and a way to promote peace and understanding, a road that leads towards a better future for us all. We see in the recipients of the World Best Tourism Destination Award, Zimbabwe, in this year, not only the standing idea of the resurrection of Africa and African people, but also symbolizing African determination to undertake the long journey to the global significance. We have also noted with great satisfaction that Zimbabwe had persistently viewed tourism as one of the pillars of its economy going forward. Your successful uh, economic blueprints are recognizable to the critical value adding to the role the tourism sector can play in your economy. We are aware that in 2013, your country signed the United Nations World Tourism Organization Golden Book on Tourism. We must congratulate and commend you highly, Your Excellency, for signing that book. Needless to say, tourism can do a great deal for social and economic good of Africa, including Zimbabwe. Mr. President, in our consideration for whom to give this award to, we learned, among many other factors, about your country efforts to ensure that local communities participate and benefit from enterprises that exploit and benefit from the conservation of biodiversity of both flora and fauna. We are here to urge you along this course because that makes Zimbabwe a steward of Earth's flora and fauna in its pristine condition for the benefit and enjoyment of all humanity, including Zimbabwe's own posterity. Your success in this regard, Mr. President, can only reaffirm your position as a world statesman. Your government, well-placed recognition of tourism as an important sector, is also evident in your decision to create a standalone Ministry of Tourism and Hospitality industry back in 2009. But even more fundamental for us, it's your acknowledgement that tourism is a sector for peace, constantly building bridges amongst various peoples of the world. The recognition of this truth is evidenced in part by the support you've given to the Minister of Tourism to travel the world, east and west, ensuring that this bridge between your country and the rest of the world remains intact and it's able to promote real people-to-people -people warmth and friendship. Your Excellency, Mr. President, it is not only for these reasons that we found your country worth for this award. The fact that your country is well endowed with historical and cultural features of great worth and value to all humanity. This range from the massive long-standing architectural structures of great Zimbabwe monuments and other like it, like it spread it all over your country to the rock paintings and artifacts that symbolize early human civilization. Zimbabwe is indeed a destination of global note and the recognition of many of your country's future features as you UNESCO human heritage sites are saying as much. We did explain in detail in our 3rd of May, of May press release that we put out for the purpose why we found Zimbabwe deserving the recipients to be the, reserve, the deserving recipients of this award. But in my address would be amiss if I will fail to refer to the world-known hospitality and the peace-loving nature of the Zimbabwean people.
it is quite appropriate that your people has positioned himself as one of the seven wonders that characterize Zimbabwe. Zimbabweans both at home and in diaspora abroad are generally well known for their hard work, for their cheerfulness, and they are a wonder indeed. <laughs> Last but not least, Your Excellency, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, It is not only in Zimbabwe that we have found a natural and culturally well-endowed destination, but it's here that we find an exceptional combination of peace and security, together with a crime-free environment <laughs> and an exceptionally hospitable people. Visitors here are bound to feel welcome, to feel safe, to feel secure. And it is probably the reason why the United Nations World Tourism Organization decided to hold the 20th session of his General Assembly, which have turned now to be more than successful here in Zimbabwe at the magnificent Victoria Falls. Your Excellency. For the final part of the speech, I will kindly ask all the European Council on Tourism and Trade delegates to come beside me. Your Excellency, Mr. President, it is my great honor and privilege to hand over, come, to hand over this title as an international recognition for all the people of Zimbabwe. All, yes, we have to applaud all the people of Zimbabwe. All united in the service of protecting and preserving the historical and cultural heritage of your country. Leverage tourism and culture in the service of the people of Zimbabwe. Your Excellency, Mr. President, this is also a challenge because now we are expecting you and your country and your people to hold what you have trust on behalf of the world culture and tourism. May this award to be used to enhance the international standing of the Republic of Zimbabwe, a world of wonders. It is my privilege and honor. <laughs>